Hey, welcome to Spotlight Creator Studio. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to spot your character on the background, how to make them do basic animations, how to move, and how to create your character just using the code. First, let's put the background. Type at then background or BG and let's select a background. I'm going to select my personal background and character MC face right. Now I can spot her. Click the static preview. As you can see here, the default view will be always the full background. This button represents the full background. To do a close-up, you either select this or this. The difference between them is explained better in the camera tutorial video. So now we can move our character around. Let's spot her here. You can scroll your mouse up and down to change the scale of the character. You can see here X, Y, Offset and Scale. But don't use the Offset now, but we use the rest of the parameters. And we need to write it in our code. For this, write at where the character stands and then you just paste. Of course, you can click here to copy the exact coordinates, but you don't have to do it. Spotlight automatically copies the coordinates to the clipboard, so all you need to do is just to paste them. Command V if you're on Mac and Ctrl V if you're on Windows. Okay, now let's move our character around, but this time we are not going to change the scale. We're just going to change X and Y. Because we didn't change the scale, the spotlight did not copy it. It copied only the coordinates that were changed. Now let's use another background. Let's use one of the official backgrounds. And Cam and MC. Let's give her some animation. Then the character name, the round bracket. The second part of the bracket will appear automatically, so you just have to type the animation you want to use. And we are going to write narrator bubble here, so our script just will not end up abruptly. To direct the line, you have to make sure you put the mouse to this line. Click static preview, and now I can direct the character. And because I type the camera here, I can click on this orange cross and direct the camera. Let's see our first background. I didn't write camera there. So when I click static preview, I can only see the character's anchor point, but not the camera one. If I add camera here, I will be able to direct it. And no camera means I can Kind of directed. But let's go back to our new background. So I have the character and I have the camera. I'm going to move it here. The same with the character. I write at paste the coordinates and now the character. As you may notice, the majority of Spotlight official backgrounds have inbuilt perspective. That means that each of the backgrounds has its own horizon line and all the objects and characters you place to this background will be adjusted to its perspective. In other words, the further the character or an object is from the viewer, the smaller it gets. And the closer a character or an object is placed to the camera, the bigger it becomes. Hold the shift key and drag the character up and down. While holding the shift key, you cannot move it left or right. After you change the offset, you can adjust X, Y and scale accordingly. In our case, we put her a bit above the horizon line, so now let's paste her coordinates. There is a small trick you can do with your character. You can put them upside down. For this, put a minus sign before the scale number, so it becomes negative. Now you can direct your character by dragging them around and using the offset feature. But don't scroll your mouse or touchpad when scale is negative, otherwise the character will disappear. Now let's put a new background and learn how to make our characters walk. So her initial position is here and let's cut her walking out of the screen. For this, drag the character out of the screen and write the code. Character name, move, then you paste your position coordinates and we can leave it like this or we can set the time for this action. Type in and the amount of seconds she will be walking. You can add animation to walking. For this round brackets, let's do walk confidently. Once a character finishes the walk, they take the default standing animation, but you can change it. For this, write the idle in the end of the walking code and just choose the animation you would like to use. After she finishes walking, she will take the arm cross position. You can attach characters one to another. For example, if you want them to walk together holding hands or if you want one character to carry another one on their hands. We are going to do the walking and holding hands now. For this, you should use the target command. It allows you to attach one character to another one. First, let's search the hold hands animation. We will use this animation for our MC. And we are going to use this one for our male character. She became a bit bigger. That's okay. You just scale her down and put at the position. MC target ally at those are her coordinates depending on him. As you can see, like her default coordinates are this, but here she is not targeted to him. He became her starting point. 
now we targeted our main character to love interest and now let's direct the love interest movement. And you will see when you will be directing the love interest, the main character will move as well. I want to direct the camera, but I did not put the camera, so I need to put camera to this line and then static preview, now I have the camera. We don't need this line anymore. Let's see what we have. Oh, that's awkward. Her animation stopped before him. To fix this, you can loop the animation. I'm not going to explain loop now, there is another video talking about animations, you can check this out. And let's give our love interest the idle position. Because our MC is not really walking, we cannot give her idle, but we can give her another stand animation, but it will be delayed for 3, because they will walk for 3 seconds. Let's see how it looks like. So main character and love interest will be targeted to each other while they are walking. When they stop, especially when MC will stop and she will have a new animation, she will not be targeted to love interest anymore. So her position will be the same as before, not this one, because this is a position when she is targeted. Her position will return to this. Let's click on the main character and now let's just drag her to the screen, change her scale back and put her new coordinates here. So now when they will stop, the main character will take her new position. You can remove the character from the screen by using the hide command. Let's create a new character, BFF. So first I write BFF name, then I just copy it and this pop-up window appears. Here you can select which body type you want to use or if you made a typo, you can change it to already existed character. And let's put her in the same spot as our MC and apply the hide command to MC. The character will be hidden from the reader, but you will always see it when you direct the same scene. Now while playing the story, we see only BFF on the screen, but not the MC. However, if we click on static preview, we'll be able to see her again. That's all for this video. Now you know how to spot the character, how to use the offset feature, target them to each other and make them walk. Follow Spotlight YouTube channel for more tutorials and Spotlight Instagram for the updates.